Hey everybody, welcome hey, to the Lately Horde Show. With, this episode's uh, called The Price is Right. The Price is Right. Holy <laughs> crap. You know what? That's pretty good. That's right. Yes, we, you know what? We're hooked on the, the little uh, tags right now. We did Universal Horror Tag yeah. uh, and uh, Hammer, Hammer tag. Horror Tag. So we thought we would come up with, with our, our own. own video tag. And it's it's the Vincent Price Horror Movie Tag. That's right. And gonna, this, guy over, big. this guy over here is the guy who came up with the questions. Yeah, and let questions. me tell you, there's some good questions. Are there? They're good questions, well, let's yeah. let's find out. One of them, I'm like, I'm, I was a little confused with towards the end there, but we'll, when we get to it, I'll, I'll right. talk about it. But, but yeah, uh, Vincent P Price Vampire Tag. I'll hit a couple people at the very end here, but anybody... Right. Who wants to do this? Who loves old school horror? Loves Vincent Price? Mm -hmm. Shoot out a tag video, man! I'd, I'd love and to this see is your. Fun, man, love this is to my see your, yeah, your guys' actor, answers. My favorite actor. Yes, of all time. would love to see your guys' answers to this. So, uh, you know, you see this? Go. The questions are down below. You know, so we're good to go. What the hell are you doing? Just what the hell are you measuring? We're in 3D. Holy Christ! Hey, look at that 3D. Yeah. You so out there in one. Oh, Probably okay. Make them lose their breakfast here all over. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. So, question number one. Let, it's let's like get, House of Wax. Let's get right to the House of Wax. <laughs> Speaking of Vincent Price, but yeah. Right. Um, and right. I'm going to be interested to know what you say, as always. That's why these these tags are kind of fun. Right. You know, I. He does none of You guys my got answers. me hooked. Uh, there's a cheesy horror tag. Uh, that we the gotta horror, get in on that. One that next. the horror that the horror show did that we're going to be doing. Yeah. Um, and there's also we should have invented that one. Uh, you would that's think our, that's our whole channel. You would think, but Cecil <laughs> from the horror that horror show uh, came up with that. Like all the movies you guys won't touch. And the werewolf and vampire. We embrace we'll get them. To it. We do. <laughs> you know, that's the funny thing. Everybody looks at me and they're like, I go, I love that one. What are you talking about? That's a great movie. Well, you didn't like the Deadly Spawn? It was great. How, how bad? I mean, these bad... Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, another another yeah, show. Um, and the move is in process, you guys. Oh, yeah. And I'd say give us in about two weeks. This is tiding us over. In about two weeks, you will see all our toys. You'll see the new set and all that good stuff. And we will be ready to go with some long streaming commentaries again and mm -hmm. have some loads of fun. Not that we're not having fun doing this, but, yeah, you know. Some fun. Um, yeah, yeah. So. We just have to be a little quieter, unfortunately. Yeah, but, ooh, things are looking up. But anyway, can't say fuck as often as I like. <laughs> <laughs> Right, as rude and crude but anyways question number one go question on Chad. let's get one. right into the vincent price horror movie tag let's get it to the nitty -gritty. question number one your favorite vincent price horror movie and again vincent price has done so much he's stuff done everything that it's hard to choose and, and what and this is why this is fun because What's good to one person is going to not be good to the other, and mm -hmm. the other one's going to have another good movie because I don't think yours is going to be the same as mine. But we me, see. me for, for number one, I, I I put my favorite movie, and this was close between two movies, was mm -hmm. uh, House of Usher, nineteen sixty. Lovely, and I love it because of his the well the gothic feel, of course, classic, to the first classic. Of the cycle, yes, of the post cycle, yes. And his performance in there. The tortured soul. Everything Spirit. about that movie was just beautiful. Mm -hmm. I loved it. It was a movie I saw way back then. You know, the movies that stick in your brain. Yeah. And a close second was House on Haunted Hill. Fun um, movie, William Casey. You know, fun, fun movie. cheesy, you know, black and white. And, but there's a million I could throw in there, you know. But anyways, that's Good mine. Choices. House of Usher. 1960, that's my, my favorite movie by Vincent Price. Mine would be right after yours, Pit and the Pendulum. Okay. I love See? the, the dark, I mean, what I love about it is that the beginning, like the pre-credits thing, you know, I mean, it, it, that, that's kind of the story. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, just his descent into madness in, in the film and, and, and just that finale, the pendulum itself. That's what Vincent Price and, is great as, know, is the descent of madness. Roger, Roger yeah, Corman right. just really made those films work. With small budgets, small mm -hmm. casts. I mean, most of these films only had you know four or five actors in them. Yep. And uh, Richard Matheson was uh, who's a famous science fiction writer, horror writer, 
Um, he wrote the screenplays for most of those Poe movies, and that's why you got like this nice stylistic continuity throughout them. Yeah. And that's probably so cool. my favorite of his horror films. Okay. I always remember watching that one on Superhost. Uh, I was going to say, yeah. things, movies that caught us when we were young, you yep. know what I mean? So, um, excellent. So, question number two. Is your favorite Vincent Price non-horror film? Because he's done lots of movies that aren't horror. And again, this is a movie that I remember as a kid being hilarious. So, uh, m- mine is, is um, Scavenger Hunt. I remember that movie. He's just in the beginning, right? 1979. It doesn't play a big role in it. Yeah, he's just in the beginning. But but it's a cool movie. The first movie that, yeah, hits me, comedy, kind of adventure type thing, you know. Mm Kind of like Mad, 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 Mad World. Yeah. It's a little bit like that. That's what I was just going to say. It's got tons of actors in it. Yes. It's just not three hours long. Right, right. right. I seem to remember, isn't he playing like some kind of a video game or something at the beginning with his nurse? Yeah. Remember that. Nothing big, but... You said non-horror movies, so, so you had to pick there one. you go. <laughs> um, I am going to pick one that a lot of people probably haven't seen. Um, it's from 1961. It's kind of like a science fiction steampunk kind of called Master of the World. Ooh. And it's based on a couple Ooh. of Jules Verne stories where Vincent Price plays a uh, character named Robert. Who Robert. has a... Um, Robert. He's very similar to Jules Verne's Captain Nemo. But instead of a submarine and the Nautilus, mm-hmm. he has an airship called the uh, Albatross. And he's using his... Airship, yeah. Superior, Steampunk, man. Love yeah, exactly. it. Exactly. Ah. And he's using his superior technology. This takes place sort of turn of the century-ish. Yeah. And he's destroying mankind's ability to make war, trying to force peace on them, which is very similar to what Captain Nemo did right. in like 20,000 Leagues Under the mm-hmm. Sea. And the other great thing about it is Charles Bronson's in it. So, I mean... No way. Yeah. <laughs> You need to shoot that link to me. Okay. That's a movie I haven't seen. Master of the World. It's on... Uh, Let me know. You can get it on Blu-ray in this country on the Vincent it's Price Collection chilling? Volume 3. I was oh. trying to think for a second. Trying to <laughs> and I had seen it before, but that's not one that they showed very often. So Yeah, I've never Master, seen that. Master no. of the World. And okay. like I said, Charles Bronson. The second time Vincent Price and Charles Bronson worked together. Really? First okay. was House of Wax. Yes, that's Where right. Charles Bronson didn't even go Charles by Charles Bronson. Bronson. It was like Charles Bronski. Right. Like, it, it wasn't even... Charles Bronski. He hadn't become the Charles Bronson wow. that we know. Okay, so cool, cool. And as, as, as with anything, we, we don't do anything short. So we're, no, no. This ain't going to be a five-minute video. But anyways, go ahead. Number Question three. Question number three. Most of these tags have a, you know, what's the most underrated or overrated? I don't want Ted seeing any of my questions. No, I, I, I mean, that are answers but most of them have that. I think the ones we've done already have been like, what's the most overrated or underrated? And I thought that was kind of mean because I I haven't seen every Vincent Price movie, but I've seen a lot of Vincent You're Price right. movies. And I never felt like he you telephoned a performance in there. He was always great. Always mm-hmm. a professional from everything I've ever read about yep. him. Loved acting. Was a joy to work with. So I said, Shakespeare. You know, I don't want to ask one of those kinds of questions. Right. So, since some of these tag videos have this type of question, I said, number three, who would win in a fight in the triumvirate of evil? Oh, that's question number three. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. The triumvirate of evil, for me, mm-hmm. is my three favorite actors. And they just happen to be horror movie stars. Vincent Price, Peter Cushing, and Christopher Lee, in that order. And I, I feel the same way about all three of them. I feel like all three were very professional, enjoyed yeah. being horror stars. Right. And even though they weren't, didn't always do the best movies, they, Kings didn't of give, horror. they didn't give bad performances. Right. Um, you know, like Christopher Lee especially, the consummate professional. Right. So who would win in a fight between those three? So am I going first every time? I, I can. If you want. You want me to say? Oh. Okay, question number three. I, 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 I'm going to say... Who wins in a fight? <laughs> first of all, it's it's tough. Who wins amongst these three old guys? <laughs> I would say, between the three of them, Christopher Lee. Yeah, I agree. I think he just... He's a badass. Oh, he, yeah. He, he, he's, he's... Every performance he's put out there, mm-hmm. he, he's a big guy. Uh, you know? Yeah. He just puts on that... Tough guy image. Like, Vincent Price. Guy. Vincent Price has got that whimsical. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna nitpick at uh, you and Peter Cushing stick might drive a stake you through your heart though. You know. Well, I was gonna say then Peter Cushing, you know, 
just a little bit under Christopher Lee, but you know he'll put that stick in you, but he'll do it with people around him. I got. Whereas to. Christopher Lee, he oh, he'd walk in with the doors yeah. flailing, and he just <laughs> just is my you know oh, watch yeah, Wicker Man. You if you haven't seen yeah. the original Wicker Man, I mean Christopher Lee. So without a doubt, Christopher Lee, and I think yes. that's what you probably picked too. That's what I picked too, and the reason I picked is because. I know a little bit about Christopher Lee. I don't know how much you guys know about Christopher Lee. But uh, mm. before he became an actor, uh, like in World War II, he worked yeah. in intelligence. He was involved in secret missions. Uh, he took out uh, Hitler. He didn't take out Hitler. Oh. <laughs> but he was involved in a lot of badassery <laughs> during World War II. Oh, I and can see that, man. People don't know, mm. maybe some people don't know, that he's cousins with Ian Fleming who created James Bond who also worked right. in intelligence during World War II yeah. and if you think some of the shit that Christopher Lee did in World War II is not translated into some of those James Bond novels you're right. wrong because some of that Ooh. shit's there and furthermore so cool um, if you're a fan of the Lord of the Rings movies alright in, in the Two Towers yeah um, the movie differs drastically from the book in that uh, Sauron Christopher Lee's character Sauron um on top of the tower at the beginning of the film is killed. Yes. Uh, Brad Dourif's character, Wormtongue, mm-hmm. stabs him in, in, in the back and, mm-hmm. and kills him. So when Christopher Lee was being directed by yeah. Peter Jackson, he's like, okay, Brad's going to come up with the knife. He's going to stab you in the back. You're going to scream. Well, Christopher Lee wasn't having this. <laughs> he, he, he politely and respectfully, I'm sure, went up to Peter Jackson and said, and this is in the extras on the right. big giant Blu-ray sets. So it's there. And I thought this was a great story. And it... Mm-hmm leads to what I'm saying here. He, he said to Peter Jackson, have you ever seen someone stabbed in the back? And of course Peter says no. He's like, well, I have. And he's like, they're not going to scream. Because the lung gets punctured. Right. You can't scream, so you'll just get that, oh! Yeah. You know, and that's what he does. He just does that, oh! And, I mean, just that level of badassery. You know, when he that says, he know, like, oh, he's yeah. like, well, I what have. What he's been through. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Christopher Lee for the so win. Cool. No... No doubt. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> still a great question because out of the three, who do you think, you know? But yeah, yeah. I think so. Chris really would be the popular answer. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. But. So, number four, and I can answer this one first just to change it up a little bit. Uh, Vincent Price's best contribution to popular music. Um, I'm wondering. Our- I named two, but he's done others. I named Michael Jackson's Thriller because he does the little. And the questions are down below, you guys. The so. rap. To, it, towards the end, yeah. and Alice Cooper's um, on the "Welcome to My Nightmare" right. album. Yeah, he does a voiceover during, uh, in between "Devil's Food" and "Black Widow." Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know if you've heard that. Yes, I have. Okay. Yes. So, what do you? What's your favorite one? I, was, I thought you were going first. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I think I know which one you're going to go for too. I don't know. Oh, they're both great. Um, but if you got to pick one, everybody knows Thriller. It's creepy and everything. But I think the Alice Cooper album is more Vincent Price's character. I mean, he even went on like tour with him and would, right. would do that. And the Alice Cooper Welcome to My Nightmare TV special, he's in that. I have it at home because yeah. that's a Vincent Price movie because he's in it. Um, but he's just talking about the Black Widow spider and how much he loves and how she kills her mate and all that. And it's just delicious. So, so you're going with Alice I'm going, Cooper, I'm huh? going to go with Alice Cooper. Okay. Well, I was going to go. I'm going with Thriller. Easy I mean, even though it's hard. again, it's a hard question. Yes, you know, between the two of them, you can't go wrong. Me, I pick Thriller because it's just it's always stuck with me. I love, I love, and the words, the, that he the uses song, the music, and, and and yeah, just Rocks Vincent Price alone. A corpse. Yes, shit. I mean, I, you can't get that out of your head. It's you know, not, not saying that I the Alice the Cooper underdog. one. I you went know, for the so, underdog. Yeah, yeah. So. Just because I like Alice Cooper better than Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. okay. Question this number five. This next one is probably my favorite question that I came up with. Um, here's what you do. Take any movie, take any character in that movie, and replace him... This was the one... ...with Vincent Price. Okay. What character and what movie? Okay. This was a tough one because I... First of all, this is a tough question. This is why I like to see what you guys have to offer, you know, in this. Mm-hmm. For me, it was hard. But first of all, I wanted to ask you, it doesn't matter if it's a newer movie, older movie. Any movie. Because it kept, Any movie. kept sticking in my head. It doesn't have to be a movie that was around when Vincent Price was alive. Okay. Any movie. Because I was trying Vincent to think of like his era. You know what I mean? Yeah, you don't even have to do and, that. Any movie. 
Just put Vincent Price in the role. So I can do a new movie in at, of course. with him at his top That's what form. I intended. His top. In, Any. Okay, okay. Well, then, you know what? I was I thought the movie It, okay? The old one or the new one? Or I guess it doesn't matter. It, it, they it's, both suck. Well, in a, well, <laughs> well, no, no, but I was going with Pennywise. Really? The clown. Didn't so, think about so, so this was my dilemma. The old one, Tim Burton does such an Tim excellent... Curry. Tim Curry. Oh, my God. Tim Burton. Sorry, guys. I just watched Nightmare Before uh, Christmas. He needs um, Jesus. <laughs> sacrilege. Burn it on my head. Tim Curry did such a badass job, and I love Tim Curry to death, so especially as Pennywise. That was one of the that was the best thing about the movie, the mm-hmm. original one. Um, so I, I was going, do I replace him there? And I said, no, I'm going to jump to the new It, because you can put Vincent Price in any movie. Right. And I did not like Skarsgård's attempt You're at... You're going to put Vincent Pen- Price in the new one. Pennywise. See, now you've made a good movie. There you go. Now you've made it a good movie. Amen. Suck Vincent it. Price... Suck it all, y'all. If, if you guys know anything about Vincent Price, especially mm-hmm. we've watched Trilogy of Terrors, uh, Mask of the Red Death, there, there's movies where he... Comedy of Errors. Trilogy Com- of Terrors. Comedy of This guy can't remember Okay, I'm drunk movies. tonight, guys. I'm, I'm drunk. I'm trying to get my words out thrice. <laughs> what the hell... Okay. Anyways, uh, hey, it's the, that's a it's good the, choice. It's Dino. What are you gonna do? That's a good uh, choice. But, but the new it, Skarsgård, I, I I didn't really. It's not the it I saw. Appreciated. Neither is Vincent Price. The but I like it. the idea. But Vincent Price and his because Vincent Price is very charismatic. Mm-hmm. I can see him taking on that character of Pennywise mm-hmm. and and really putting on a show. Wow. Uh, Comedy of Terrors, he really did. Bears, yeah, think of that movie and think of him as Pennywise the Clown. Well, you know, Vincent Price can do comedy like, right? like nobody. Yeah, so. And I know. didn't even make a question about that. I know. But Comedy that... of Terrors with Peter Laurie and Boris Karloff and Basil Rathbone is one of the best movies. I almost put it in for my first question of the horror movie, but I feel like it's, it's more of a comedy than a horror movie, so I didn't do it. Yeah. Um, okay, well, yeah. Well, but, but that's what I thought of. That's. You know, and I did think really long and hard on this. People will get me because they love Bill Skarsgård as, as, as Pennywise in this movie, but I don't give a shit. Um, we don't every, have to like what they like. Yeah, everybody has their own opinion, and this is a Vincent Price I bet tag, the people who like that movie and, haven't read the book. <laughs> I'm not going to read that. It's oh, of course this they didn't. thick. Well, let's not get into it again. Come on. Well, so what's your, what's your answer? You're going to kill me. Okay. We are going to... Replace Gene Wilder as Willy Wonka. Holy shit. <laughs> in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Holy hell. <laughs> balls to the wall. Holy balls. <laughs> Holy balls, man. I thought that was the obvious choice. Really? Here you didn't probably think of it. but Well, I didn't think of it because Gene Wilder is one of my favorite comedians uh, in all his movies. That's why I said you're going to kill me. <laughs> well, times. But I, I, I understand your answer to putting him in that role. I'm not saying he would be better. I just, I would watch it. <laughs> <laughs> it would be interesting. It's funny how we came up with those two out of all the horror movies. Yeah. Goes to show you how, I mean, can we really put him in, replace like Gregory Peck and put him in there as in The Omen or, no. or, or what's his name in The Exorcist, The Priest, whatever. Oh, yeah, I Max forget. von Sydow. Yeah. No. Max, so, so, you know, so it, it was something. So it was a tough, it, you, you had to fit him to something the role. With flavor. And right. Flair. So that's why I picked Pennywise and you picked mm-hmm. Willy Wonka. So right. that was awesome. And the yeah, idea okay, is to pick it. something that you would like to see him in. Right. And so I thought, yeah, you know, yeah, maybe if he was one. a little bit younger at that time in, in mm-hmm. the 70s, although I think he still could have pulled it off. Yeah. Um, cool. So there we go. Okay. Cool. Question number? Number six. Six. Uh, My hands I, And I worded this one here. I said, if you were in a movie with Vincent Price, chances are he'd kill you. <gasps> oh. How would you like <laughs> Vincent Price to kill your character? Yes. Okay. I'm still not even sure how I'm going to answer this well, one. Really? I don't want to did die. I put, did I put in more effort than you? Well, if know. you're if you're going to, you're the one that came up with the answer. I know, but I it's, mean, question. it's all terrible. He's Listen, killed, he's killed people in so many horrible freaking ways. I, Abominable Doctor Fibes. And, okay. And well, all here, the, here's here's my answer. If Vincent Price were to kill me in a movie, mm-hmm. okay, and I was, you know in the movie and I was portraying and I was an actor I, I would want him to kill me with poison poison 
And the reason behind that is because I would want to put on a performance of a lifetime. Mm-hmm. I, I would all, I, not an instant death. You know, I would be one of those, ugh, <laughs> ugh. But then, and, then th- and then you think, <laughs> and then you think, and then you, then you, then you, yeah, then you, <laughs> then you think I'm dead, and I just like roll over and go, you son of a, <laughs> and then I'm like 30 seconds, like, bitch, you know, I mean, something, something prolonged like that, mm-hmm. and um, the other reason why is because of, <coughs> as as I'm dying, as he, you know, he's poisoned me, okay, this is my mind set in a movie, you know, right now, um, Vincent Price being his charismatic self, you know, mm-hmm. like giggling and going, <laughs> he's done it, you know, and just putting on that that quirky attitude that he got when he's when he's murdering somebody yeah. or he's killing somebody because he's always got his flair when he's off killing his victim. Yes, so, he does. so 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 that yeah, that's my choice. I mean, it's you know. I thought about it and I thought maybe like being like in House of Usher being bricked into a wall. Oh. Because then at least I still have a fighting chance of getting loose. Or staying behind that brick wall for you know, however long it takes you I'm to... I'm a pretty big guy. I think I could last at least a <laughs> fortnight. And, <laughs> but, um, yeah, maybe, you know, definitely not a pendulum. Definitely not hot wax or tarantulas or... <laughs> tarantulas. You know, like think of no Dr. Fives. I mean, he, he killed people, you yeah, know, yeah. in horrible ways. So... Or in Theater of Blood. I mean, you know, the way he killed everybody, you know, poetically, sort of. So maybe being bricked into a wall just to give me a fighting chance. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That, oh. was a, that was a tough question. I think yeah. that might have been one of the last ones I came up with. Ah, okay. Um, okay. Um, question number seven. seven. Vincent Price guest starred on many classic TV shows. Do uh-huh. you have a favorite? He's been in... Just about everything. He's been. This is the dilemma. He's but well, it's not a real big dilemma because he was on Love Boat even. And right. He's do on I, the, here's do, Lucy. Do, do I love him on he's Love on Boat the, better than something else? Um, but I did come up with one. I mean, and you, you're going to think everyone's going to think I'm weird, but it's I'm a fan of like old stuff, mm-hmm. old time comedy. Nobody would time, know that watching our show. Old time radio shows. Some might, but. Um, one of my biggest fans, I mean, I'm my biggest fans. See, Ted, what the oh, frick watch is head get wrong bigger. with me today? One of my biggest fans. One of my favorite shows way back then was the Jack Benny show. Okay. The guy was hilarious. Yes, Jack he was. Benny. Look him up. Most of you guys might not know who the hell I'm talking about, but he, you know, he, he did these shows during the 50s. Um, and Vincent Price starred in a few of them. And back in the fifties, top, you know, when he was, he was, and that was before he was he's, the horror. He's, he's always icon, been great. Really, yeah, right, yeah. right, yeah, yeah. He, because Vincent Price did a lot of old time radio shows too. Mm-hmm. Um, but that With a voice like that, hey, I, I would, yeah. I would pick the Jack Benny show, and close behind that, the Muppet Show, just because <laughs> I love the Muppets, you know. And and he did, he was great with Kermit, and yeah, that's all like of that one of the most popular too, gifts. So. With Kermit with the vampire teeth grabbing him, biting him on the neck. Yeah. All right. I'm and picking. we're twenty, almost twenty minutes in, See, and we we're about, uh, we're a little over halfway. Go. Uh, cool. We are. Uh, I'm going to pick the Brady Bunch. He was on the classic two-parter where they go to Hawaii. Okay. Remember the tiki necklace that Greg yeah. was wearing and the tarantulas in it? And, and Vincent Price is living in the cave there, and, and he captures the kids. And oh, see, I didn't <laughs> see that. You, you never saw that? No, I didn't I see love that. the Brady Bunch. I've always loved the Brady Bunch. Me <laughs> no. and my kids, whenever I'm off in the morning where we have breakfast, you watch we Brady. always watch the Brady Bunch. Or when they're getting ready for school, we would always watch... Uh, either the Brady Bunch or the old Goosebumps. Brady Bunch. Or the old Goosebumps show, yeah. which I really love. Oh, yeah, Goosebumps. Um, the old TV show in the books. Wow. So I'm picking the two-parter Brady Bunch. Okay. Yep. Interesting. Okay, go ahead. My favorite. Cool. Okay, so question number eight. eight. This one might be a repeat for you. and I'm, This was probably my last one because I was just running out of ideas. Uh, Vincent Price starred yeah. in eight films with the word house in yeah. the title. Yeah. Do you have a favorite one? House of Usher. House of Usher. Yeah, I know. Um, and uh, I put House, House on Haunted Hill right behind that. So, yeah, those right. are my, you know. So, what am I going to pick? Well, I didn't even think about it. you going to pick. <laughs> <laughs> um, Way to go. I will pick one that maybe some of you haven't seen called Madhouse. 
Okay. Uh, because it's got... Uh, hmm. And it, it's a very cool movie. It's uh, Vincent Price plays a character similar to himself, a horror movie actor, okay. who created a character called Dr. Death that was in lots oh, yeah, of these yeah. movies. Okay. And they even use clips from like Pit and the Pendulum and some of the other Corman movies mm-hmm. to, to illustrate his acting. Yeah. Uh, Peter Cushing's in it. And, Peter, uh, Peter Cushing. Oh, and my, my favorite Hammer Girl, Linda Hayden's got a small role in it, so I had to pick that. Okay. And uh, it, it's, it's a cool little horror flick. If, if you get a chance to see it, it's on Blu-ray, it's on DVD. Um, that'll, that's the one I'll pick for mine. It's like from 71, okay. I think. Cool. Well, there you go. Yeah, okay. awesome. Yeah. What in the say? Question number... Number nine. Nine. Okay. Oh, I loved this question. If Vincent Price could read you a bedtime story, <laughs> what would it be? And I said that because just that voice. The man should have just read books for a living and... and just I know, I love some, that. If, if Vincent Price could read you a bedtime story, what, what would, would you choose? Be? And I actually gave two answers because... Um, it's fine. Tell well, because well, well, <laughs> I, I didn't know if you meant as a child no, just, or as an adult but, or now. But, so I got the a, longest book you want. I mean. I, <laughs> true, true. But, but, but I, I gave an answer for as an adult and a question or an answer. As a child. As a child. Well, I like that. So, let's so as that. an adult, I would love Vincent Price to sit next to my bed and read me uh, The Vampire Lestat. I knew it was going to be an answer. So, <laughs> you know, the, <laughs> he could read me the whole Vampire Chronicles, and I would just love it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, what, Uncle what, Vinny. <laughs> what better? And if I was a kid, any Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> Fantastic. So there you go. My, my answer is probably a little bit more boring, but <laughs> because, yeah, I like this book. Uh, I would love him to read Moby Dick. Moby Dick's a book that is, when you're older, you realize it's really about everything. And just to hear him say the line in wow. the first passage, when it's a what cold... A shit answer. When it's a cold no, November in my soul. <laughs> I would just love to hear him say that, when it's a cold November in my soul. And it's deep. Moby Dick is actually technically a deep story. So, I mean, you know. Like I said, as you get in, older in and read it, when you're a kid and you read it, or if you're, you know, made to read it in school, yeah, you're going to hate it. Uh, but when you're an adult and you say, you know what, I just want to read this book. Yeah. And you realize it's about everything. It's, mm-hmm. you know, man, everything. It's, it's. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So it, cool. It's yeah. the book. No, I thought, you know what? Awesome question, man. Okay. And I think the next one's. Cool. Do you like it too? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Vincent Price lent Question his, number 10. 10. Vincent Price lent his voice to many animated mm-hmm. features. Some of those old stop motion Rankin and Bass ones. Yeah. Scooby Doo, all mm-hmm. kinds of stuff. What's your favorite? I'm going to say Scooby Doo. Every Scooby Doo episode he was in. Now, he did a series with them. It's called The 13 Ghosts of Scooby Doo. Yes. And there's a character in it that's kind of, you know, right. it, it's Vincent Des Price, but it looks like him too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. yep. But I think he even did horror score, horror scope scoob, uh, the ghouliest show on earth, mm-hmm. uh, coast to ghost, Scooby in Quacky Land, uh, yeah, and it goes on. He and didn't on. voice and the character, was, but you know they even had a puppet on Sesame Street of Vincent Price. Right. It was called Vincent Twice. Yes. Vincent Twice. Vincent Twice. Vincent Twice. But it wasn't him that voiced it. Right. Though, you know. No, I know. Uh, mine's the Great Mouse Detective. Disney movie. Yeah. Because he's got songs in it. He mm. plays that badass I was again. thinking of that. And that's probably my yeah. favorite. I okay. like Great Mouse Detective. Cool. No, that's good. Number and 10. I love that movie too. That's and a we're great done. movie. Yeah. So that was the v- Vincent Price horror movie tag. And spurred on by all the mm-hmm. tags I see now. And I think. You know, these are fun as hell. Right. Man. I want to do the cheesy the 80s hell? one. And if you guys ever think we'll of think, one yeah. that we would be good at doing, yeah. um, let, us, let know. us know. We did we did the Hammer. We did the Universal. Vincent Price is an obvious one. Yeah. But there might be some, you know, other there, people have Ted, other ideas. There's so many out there right now. And like I said, our, our next one is, is the cheesy uh, horror um, tag. We should do one on music, and our favorite, like, 80s bands and oh stuff God. like that. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> it would be a little diversion from horror, but still... It would fit with our theme that we typically do. Favorite horror, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. that's it. But but yeah, there you go, man. Um, with with that said, check out the questions below. I I would tag people, but you know, everybody's busy. So anybody who wants to do get it, get unbusy. 
tag it. I, I think I will tag um, definitely, uh, oh, God, Monty, you know who you are. I would say Queenie if she knows her Vincent Price. I know spooky astronauts, she Emma, she, she knows, knows her it. Vincent Price, but she don't do tag videos, so I'm, I'm not sure she's going to do this. No, she don't do tag. Is that like she machete don't, don't, do don't text? She don't do that. But no, no, I no, don't. This is one she'll do. Um, yeah, and, and I, I technic- don't do that. technically, there's a lot of people I would. Uh, Sean Erston, you started the Universal and the Hammer Horror Tag. Yeah. I know you'd be into the Vincent Price Horror Tag. Get in tag. that ass. So I'll tag you too, buddy, um, and anybody else who wants to do it. Um, Ted came up with the questions. I never. There's no other Vincent Price, Price uh, horror movie tag out there, so it's a cool one, very cool. So with that said, uh, we are. I am moving. Yes. We are on our way. I wish you could see the other side of our setup here. It's boxes, boxes everywhere. <laughs> so I'm surprised it's not echoing. It might be. But you have things over here to kind right, of right, right, take right. the sound. <laughs> but with that said, big things in the future. It's going to be a really big show. It's going to be rugby. Yes, when we start like streaming again. It's like, yeah, more like it used to be with all the toys. You'll see posters, everything. It's going to be. Right. It's going to be lovely. I can't and I'll wait. I'll be getting naked. Oh again. boy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so, with that said, uh, check out the description yeah. below. Answers are there. Tag Thanks everybody for you us can. For the price is right. And there you go. The price is right. Late late horror show. <laughs>